Hey guys, welcome to Captain German Exploring YouTube channel. Today we have big plans. I will show you how to make anti-falling, how to prepare a hull of my beautiful boat Mushu, how to put primer, how to put anti-falling and everything in details. Are you ready? Let's go! You know, sometimes you can get unpredictable problems uh, when you start to do something. In our case, it is a no extension cable. Also, I bought a mask which protect my lungs from uh, dust because it's a really dangerous. Sandpaper disc for a grinder. Uh, the eye protection, uh, which is uh, extremely important because it's small dust. And of course, full body protection, because usually you're dirty like a hell when you do it. Another small stuff. The total price of it was a 35 bucks. Today we had not really efficient day, because it was a rain and I could not do anything properly, because when you send in it, water go around, you cannot do it in a normal way, so you all the time you stop, wait, start again, so it's just a headache. Because the weather was extremely bad, I decided to clean our prop. Anyway, I have to do it, but this job I can do in a dry spot. I hope tomorrow we will have a dry day, because I want to be really efficient. I don't want to stay uh, on a dry dock forever, because you are on a sailing boat, and sailing boat should be in the water. As soon as I don't have a proper uh, sanding machine, I use a grinder, but this is one really important thing. The grinder should be with an adjustment of speed, because if you do it with a high speed or just a regular grinder, you kill your boat, because you need to use uh, RPM as less as possible. So I'm using 1000, I don't know, maybe it is a 1000 rotation per minute. But uh, I am using very slow speed, as slow as possible. Sometimes I would say it could be great to use a higher speed, but with a high speed it is a big chance to cut uh, your anti-falling and cut it quite deep and damage the gel cord. And of course sandpaper you need to use 60 or 80 for a first time and uh, if you want to use it later as a polishing the kind of polishing is better to use 120 but you can start it with a 120 but uh, it could be quite difficult because all the dust get inside the sandpaper and you need to change it more often but with 60 or 80 it's a perfect to use it To do sanding of bottom it is a really hard job, because when you do it you all the time keep your hands up and you need to have a pressure on your grinder and uh, it's quite big efforts you have to do, because uh, as I said you lift it up and uh, so if you have uh, extra 500 bucks do it with this money, if uh, you stay with uh, your financial limits of course you take a grinder and do it by yourself let's i'll show you something uh, from a yesterday i cleaned only kill you can see it it's not really much and just a little bit of hole but anyway uh, it is a quite big job but it's all the time i had to stop because of rain because of water is getting down uh, let's I'll show you something which is, uh, I would say, really important to pay attention on the boat. So when you uh, grinding, you need to remove your anti-falling and better to remove a primer as well. So you start to cut and sometimes uh, when it is uh, just big amount of old anti-falling or old primer, you want to clean it and you can get this white spot. So it means you touch gel coat, so you damage your gel coat, which is not really good. Of course, you cannot avoid it 100% and sometimes you can get it. 
Uh, that's not really a big problem, but just when you do it, try to avoid white spot. Uh, it could be very often when you use a high speed of uh, your grinding machine. So better to use it as slow as possible. So what to do if it is a big amount of this spot? Nothing, just for future try to avoid it, but uh, in this case uh, just put a primer, cover it and cover it with anti-falling and that's it. So for the present time you can see we cleaned all our board, we removed all anti-falling, all old primer and our board is ready for a primer. So it is a really big job. What I need to do it is just to clean a little bit water line to lift it up uh, because I'm planning to lift uh, the water line so I want to lift the anti-falling uh, to five centimeters higher than it's for a present time. When you stay on the water it's not absolutely flat. It is uh, some small waves and if you have a quite low water line, quite low line of anti-falling Anyway, all the green stuff, algae, barnacles will be get on top above your anti-falling line. So I would like to lift it because I think it could be uh, better just not to clean all the time a hole, but just uh, use a regular cleaning when you clean anti-falling. So for now, let's take 120 and uh, start to make a polishing of uh, body. So it is a second step. First time you clean everything with a 60 or 80 and now you just polish it. So now let's compare with a 60 and the second step with a 120. Do you see any difference? Not. Me too. Another task we have now, I want to lift up our water line, so I want to make our uh, anti-falling 5 cm higher, because for present time we are on a limit and sometimes we a little bit overload our boat when we go on a long distance and after we have uh, all that green algae on top of anti-falling, so we just now very well clean uh, our uh, gel coat about the anti-falling and uh, make a primer and I will lift a, uh, a little bit our water line, our anti-falling. There is some good stuff, it's on off, it's very weird name, but anyway, uh, it's alkaline, so it's a just quite dangerous liquid, you need to wear your goggles and uh, gloves, rubber gloves to protect your skin, because alkaline could make uh, chemical burns on your skin but this is a very efficient way how to remove algae or even more hard something like a barnacles you just take this liquid apply it on a hole and just wait every sheet became green and just a little bit moldy after you rinse it with the water and you have a clean body by the way this on off works well on a dinghy so when you put your dinghy upside down to apply on off on your dinghy alkaline will remove all the shit quite easy So now you see our beautiful hull, so it's already cleaned. 
and uh, we are ready to apply um, primer I like it but now we are going to do some small issue do you see it is a just pure metal of kill and we have to paint it with a primer we have a primer which uh, locals use on a uh, metal boards so we just now a little bit sand it so it looks like clean after this we need to apply acetone on it just to degrease it because uh, if not primer we could get apart that's not exactly i want to do so now it's definitely clean after this we take a small roller we are ready so open a primer a horrible color looks like a shit i don't like it but it doesn't matter it's a just a primer i will not use a tray i just feel a little bit on top of uh, plastic bag uh, just because i need it just to cover metal it's two component primer uh, i need to mix it uh, like component a and component b and after this we are going to paint our kill it's a quite easy job so you just just paint that's first layer of primer we paint all the parts when we can see a metal when we clean it a little bit more deep but doesn't matter so i just put a primer like one layer and when we paint the whole board it will be second layer of uh, primer and after this we will apply anti-falling and our board will be like a candy and now we are going to clean our pot before we start to put primer on a body. So guys, this is the time we start to put anti-falling because uh, in a few days we are going to the water finally. This is the first layer of anti-folding, uh, but it is a, some trick. If you want to see the difference between first and a second layer, you should use some ink. So now it's a time for a second layer of anti-folding. We put second layer of anti-folding and now it is a, my favorite time. I want to take out uh, masking tape and our boat will be beautiful.
tomorrow we will go to the water. We have our beautiful baby ready for it. We are ready to return back to the water. This is a plastic bag, just not to scratch a fresh anti-falling. For now we just a little bit lift out our boat and the uh, clean bottom of keel and after we'll be ready so now final steps before we are going to the water and now dina painted Working hard. So guys, as you see, we are in the water. Let's go and I'll show you what I did. You see that black is anti-falling. So I lift it quite high because if it is a waves, it could make the hull wet and uh, very often it became green. On the side, on the side it's visible much, much better. You can see our perfect line. So it's not really high, but it's about 10 centimeters above that exactly what I want to get so guys as you see it's a perfect job I like it please subscribe to my channel captain German exploring and I'll show you I have a plan to show you really cool stuff what I made in my boat like comment check subscription and bell and see you next video bye bye